Last time we taught this here rock using user a lesson they will not soon forget. So uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here and continue. Nothing has died so far. Everything has gone pretty smoothly. And we out here in Orberg. There's really nothing for us to do except kind of just bail. We've gotten all of the encounters. I now realize that I actually missed uh, the first lake encounter, the Lake Verity encounter. I was just so raring to go through the rest of the game that I didn't even get that encounter. I think it would have guaranteed me a Shinx on like a route after that. But we got a Shinx anyway, so we're looking pretty solid. We should probably I'm actually put this little fella in front. He's looking a little low here. Actually, one thing I do like about this is actually the um like the little icon Pokemon. They, they, they seem to look they look they look pleasant. But had your pet monkey beat the hell out of his pets. I sure did. I sure did. Also Hey, when the hell do I get my Pokemon to follow me? Is this a cloud? God damn, that's a scary cloud. Um, I would like my Pokemon to follow me now. I know that exists in this game, but apparently it's not happening for me. Oh, oh my god, homeboy just came sk <laughs> skating up. Did this guy just have Heelys on? What the hell was that? Got the gym badge, huh? Eternity City is the next place with the gym that gives away badges, right? You're damn right. So, yeah, I went to Route 207. You can't go through without a bike. Yeah, there's like a mudslide. You can't, you know do it without a bicycle apparently but all right so into the cave we go friendship 200 plus for following do i actually have to have the friendship up to get them to follow there's no way there's no way also something else that pissed me off you can't shine the badges what the hell why even have badges if i can't shine them i don't oh use the touch screen oh okay i can't Apparently I can't shine the badges because I'm playing docked. Is that... Okay. That actually makes me happy. I mean, I can't really demonstrate because my switch is over there, but... Nice. That... That makes me happy that I can shine the badges. Okay. Good to know. Hey, so this guy... Hey, so Homeboy over here gave me Rock Smash. I actually haven't really checked out what happens with that. Um, but I have been told that it actually... So I can teach it to some folks here. We'll teach it to Reese's Puff. He's a rock. It's only fitting that we let him smash his own kind. Um, and uh, let's just get rid of Defense Curl. I, I guess Tackle or anything. Pretty much any of this thing's moves could be deleted, but... We now can rock smash, but I'm confused because I thought when you used HMs, you just like summoned somebody. So let's, let's try to smash this bad boy. Yes, certainly. A wild bee doof helped out by using Rock Smash. Well, what the hell did I just teach you dude that for, then? <laughs> what? So I guess we can explore north of this way. It's actually nice that they don't show you the animation of the bee doof doing that every bee doof doing that every time. Uh, so that's kind of cool. But I don't really remember what's even what's even in here. I don't think we can go too far because we don't have surf or anything. But we're gonna kill some Zubats and stuff along the way because Shinx is. Uh, Oh, Lucky Charms here needs some, some love. Just comes out of the bushes and smashes the rock and leaves. Yeah, like what? Why you do that? We haven't gotten a shiny yet. I've seen a lot of people on the old interwebs posting their shinies. I have not. For some reason. It looks like my glasses are fogged up in this bit. What's going on here? Why were you so foggy? Oh, I guess they're in focus now. Anyway, um, see those slanted rocks on the ground? So we can use those as freaking sweet jumps, but we don't have a bicycle. So basically, we're just going to take this item and dip. It's a free bag of stardust, though, so that's kind of nice. Um, I cannot do anything else in here, I don't think, until... Until we get, uh... Until we get the bicycle or surf, I guess we'll come back. So, back to the issue at hand, and that is getting to, uh... I'm gonna go to Eterna. I never noticed the clouds before because I've only played this at nighttime, but they do be drifting. Anyway, we got Rowan chilling over here. I forgot we have this double battle with these goons. <laughs> these guys, their haircut looks even worse in HD 3, 3D ish. Professor, why must you be must you be so difficult? We're approaching you strictly as businessmen. In return, we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. Hmm. Okay. Well. So first double battle, I guess, with these freaking goons. Ooh, the background's all crazy, too. Nice. This background's actually sick. I like this. I like this. I 
I'm removing the chat. I don't think it. I don't think it needs to be there. And there's too much on the freaking screen. Anyway, a wormple and a zubat. Whatever will I do? I man, just a frightening pair of mons right here. I tell you. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing the children. He's like, did you see my worm? Thing is a threat. How did this happen? <laughs> they give us some money, so at least they're honorable. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. We shall leave. All right. Well, see ya. Do they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy, I believe. It's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Evil. Anyway, Hayden, well done. Thanks. I worked hard clicking that Thundershock a couple times. It's not easy being Shinxy. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some Pokemon must undergo startling evolutions. Ooh. Hayden, okay, let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the Professor. Pog. Bam, bam. All right, so now we can, oh, just kidding. Who's this guy? Hello? Girl. <laughs> Sorry. What was that just now? That was amazing. These guys looked awfully scary, but you sure showed them. That was like a breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name is Bebe. I work as a system administrator in a hard home city east of here. Uh, now, thanks for, putting on, thanks for putting on a good show. I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I just realized I haven't even tried to use the Pokemon boxes. Pika Blue! Thank you very much for the Prime sub, my friend. So we got some ball capsules from Homegirl. Uh, you can now use your ball, your, use the capsule decoration feature from the ball capsules menu. Okay, you can customize your own capsule decoration by placing stickers on the ball capsules. Put stickers on your favorite Pokemon's ball capsule and look pretty when it bursts open. That's actually sick. Weren't these called something different before? Like seals or something? Now they're just stickers? I, guess, I don't know. Well, cool. Um, continuing here, we've got uh, pretty much nothing new. <laughs> we find a Badoo here, and uh, I think it's actually like a, a daytime encounter, because I, I didn't find one of these yesterday, but interesting to know that little, little Badoo is in fact here. I would have liked one of those as our encounter, but that's okay. Into the cave we go, and now we can smash some stuff to continue, so... Actually, hold up, hold up. Let's summon a random Bidoof. Just pops out of a bush out of nowhere. Just keep a little pocket Bidoof to smash that. And uh, we can actually only really grab this item for now. I'm too lazy to go around the rock, so I just have that Bidoof do it for me. And boom! TM39 for Rock Tomb. Very nice. Called seals because that's what they, st uh, they call stickers in Japanese. I guess they decided to change it to stickers for the remake. Interesting. That's a fun. That's a fun fact, Pika Blue. Wow, we finally we finally made it out of this cave. That was truly an adventure. And now we have the beautiful Route 204. I remember this route specifically because in one of the like the intro to Diamond and Pearl or something, there's like one of the things that like shows this this route like the camera going north of it. it some I don't know. You guys probably someone knows what I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, what's up, youngster? Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If only you have one type of Pokemon, you'll have a hard time against types it's weak to. You don't say. I wish, you know, people like were like that in real life. You just walk past them and they just give you just a random little nugget of information. <laughs> you just walk past the guy, he's like, If you don't have your money in a Roth IRA, you can't retire by the time you're t 45. Alright, so this lady's looking evil. She looks like she's ready to, to battle me, so... Let's get it, lady. You better catch these hands. So we have not seen an aroma lady yet, uh, basically just saying that this lady smells, and she has a buddy which also smells. No, but thank you very much for the, the uh, 100 bits, you, you kind. If boomers did that, the world would be a better place. You can get Jirachi and Mew and Florimaton if you uh, talk to the two people there. I will I will grab them, I don't think I'm going to end up using those, but don't forget in the second town to get the Jirachi and Mew. I will, I will grab those Pokemon, but I'm not going to use them for the sake of the Nuzlocke, because it seems kind of unfair to have like a Jirachi at, when my team is level 14. But, you know, that's just me. Also, god damn it, I freaking, I touched the Badu, and now Shinx is gonna have a bad time. Um, I'm probably just gonna switch on out of here and just go into, you know what? You guys were talking shit on Raisin Bran? No longer. Actually, I think only Chan mentioned it, but. We love Krikatoon around these parts, okay? And we actually haven't even seen a Cherubi yet. Shout out to Cherubi, and actually, if I could get a Cherubi as my encounter, I could name it Cheerio. It would fit in with the theme of the team, and also a throwback to the old Cheerio, who I once used. I don't. I think that was a. Was that a playthrough of Diamond and Pearl or Platinum? 
I can find Cherubi in the underground? Nice. Alright, so we just absolutely destroy those little cherries. She says, I'll just continue to stand here doing my doing my aroma thing. So yeah. Alright, so this is not a new route. We're just gonna be on our way. Um, yeah, in case Shinx is kind of Sucking poisoned, so... Like you wanted me, calling Nelson, calling thank you for the 75, buddy. This guy's got some bugs, so I'm gonna put this feller in front and hopefully have a good time. Alright, so Bug Catcher here is doing his best to do some catching, but we're just gonna step right in front of him. He says, you're not a bug. Say, what's your opinion on bug Pokemon? The bug catchers look especially four years old in this game. I don't know. See, now he doesn't, but his overworld sprite definitely did. But, uh, guy's got a Cricket's hot. Nice. I will have a pleasant time uh, doing whatever rock... Uh, do I even have... Okay, it's, I can only roll out, so... Autobots, let's roll out. I love refrigerators. <laughs> the f difference between the standard and hardcore Nuzlocke. Uh, Silver, I am playing on set mode. I cannot heal in battle. And I'm playing with level caps to the gym leaders, so I can't level past theirs. Right, we're getting headbutt here, okay. Uh, defense curl rollout's kind of a pog combo. I don't generally use rollout in Nuzlocke's, but whatever. This Wurmple comes in, and this guy came in at a bad time, because once Reese's Puff gets a rolling, you're gonna have a bad time. And only level 7, so still just some really some real low levels around these parts, but that's fine. Good to see you, friends, and all these new uh, trainer classes and stuff. So we have this double battle with these two children over here. Um, I'm not generally afraid, so I think we're probably good. You know, Toast Crunch cannot get left behind. I refuse. I'm gonna put you over here. Kind of fucking with the chibi a little. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things that's going to grow on me, I guess. I don't... I don't know. And I have seen side-by-side -side pictures of, like, the old sprites next to the... Next to the, um... You know, the new ones. And it doesn't... It looks kind of similar to, like, what they would be. But this, this, the legs... It just... What fucks me up is that we're so short and stubby. And then when you get in battle, like, you just sound... Look at my character. He about tall as hell. Guys rock guys like six foot three, and then when I get out of this battle, homeboy's like literally one point three hey, feet tall. Reese's puff. You guys remember that commercial about the Reese's puffs? Guy was spitting. <laughs> but wait, so we just crushed these two girls' dreams because that's what we do around here. We just harsh people's vibes. And uh there's definitely an item over this way. Most certainly. Bullet seed. Okay, not bad actually. We'll take it. Peanut butter chocolate flavor. <laughs> All right, and here we arrive in Floroma Town. Now, these old folks over here look like they've got something to give me. Why, hello there. Looks like you've played Let's Go in Kanto before. Would you like to go on an adventure in Sinnoh with this Pokemon? You obtained a Mew. I love how they don't even give you... <laughs> they ask you the question, and then they're like, no, no, no. You take this Mew. You can't say no. Um... <laughs> So we'll take we'll take a Mew. Um, I'm gonna leave no nickname on this thing as to basically show that we're gonna send this thing to a box. We're not gonna be using it in this Nuzlocke unless like I get to the Elite Four and I have like no Pokemon left. But I see uh, I see and I gather you've seen a Wishing Star before. Would you mind taking this Pokemon? I think it would be perfect for you. These old people are like, please, will someone take these extremely rare myth mythical Pokemon off of our hands? We truly cannot afford to take care of these things anymore. So, <laughs> that's kind of cool. We will go take a look at them in the box, though, because actually I haven't even used a PC yet, either. What's up? We heal. Can you get multiple of each TM? I wish they didn't get rid of one limited use. I don't know. It's actually upsetting, though, that, yeah, you can only use each TM once, so. The Wishing Star and Sword and Shield. Yeah, so you get Jirachi if you have any save data on your Switch from Sword and Shield. You get Mew if you have any save data from Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee. So we got both because, you know, I ain't never missed a Pokemon game. Let's take a look at Bebe's PC here and uh, looking pretty cool in here. Level, okay, so they come at level one, which is actually kind of nice because if they like came at like level 20, that'd be upsetting. But uh, we got a gentle Mew, which doesn't do anything for me. And then uh, we got a mild Jirachi. So Serene Grace Jirachi looking kind of cool. Confusion and Wish, pretty cool. A um, couple of nice fellas there. Um, Captain Crunch needs to come back on the team. I was looking for this fella earlier, and I realized, hey, that guy ain't here anymore. But who do I get rid of? 
I'm probably gonna leave Geodude on the squad because it's nice to have the defense. Um, but like, who do I, who should I get rid of? Oh God. I think I have to keep in Raisin Bran. I'll be dis- I did mention that I, I'm determined to get Cricketune to do stuff. So there's no way I'm getting rid of Cricketune, but yeah, I don't know who- <sighs> Gonna get rid of Toast Crunch. Old Cinnamon Boy, you're gonna just chill here for just a little bit. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I want the flying type, so. <laughs> let's actually put. Uh, let's actually put this little guy in front. Only level 11. This is kind of a dangerous territory, but. I think it's fine. Modest Starly is new meta. Yeah, my Starly is modest, so that's fun. Also, let's take a look at these ball capsules, shall we? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm ready to put some stickers on some stuff, huh? 3D mode? Oh, sick! Yo, that's actually kind of tight. All right, hold up. Back to our sticker here. I place it here. <laughs> yeah, that's that right there is a nicely designed Pokeball. Just experimenting with sticking shit on my balls. <laughs> Hope the letter seals are back. Hey, I remember you used to be able to make your Pokeball pop open and it would like say something. Which is kind of funny. Got a hoodie, but I want a shirt as well, dude. Well, thank you for copying more of the heck and merch. You're amazing. Um. Do you know about Gracidia flowers? Hey, that's the that's the shaman thing, right? They're given out as bouquets to express feelings of gratitude. It's an enduring tradition around these parts. They got hella flowers. I was actually excited to see what this place looked like because it's just a beautiful city overall. I get drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. I'm actually excited to do some honey tree stuff. Uh, what are these nerds doing? Hello? Aren't we Team Galactic and we're assigned here? I'm standing around among flowers. This doesn't seem that cool. Hey now, don't complain, it's a pretty decent assignment, but bug and grass type Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. Well, you guys are gonna need to just chill among the flowers. So we do have our first, uh, our first berries. Now we'll actually definitely take these here orange berries because that could actually come in handy. I don't have any hold items. So, and some cherry berries as well, nice. Can we record a cry for chat taunt still? I don't think so. So uh, the sign that has Japanese on it hasn't been translated to English. Three out of ten unfinished game scammed again. <laughs> it's not Japanese. Those are just like symbols. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, I'm actually gonna go into here, and I should probably buy some more Pokeballs. I actually haven't even been into a Mart yet. Hello. I would like to. You know, I really wish that you could just like go up to the stuff on the shelves. And be like, yes, I will take that. But no, we have to talk to this lady who doesn't even have anything with her. She has one little box back there that apparently has everything. So we're gonna be like, hey, can, ooh, get some heal balls and pokeballs and net balls. That's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna get, I'm gonna get ten net balls just because. Why not? Ten thousand dollars, chump change, easy. And a premier ball in the house, and then I'll just get some regular. Uh, I'll get ten regular pokeballs. Fuck, I might even just get ten heal balls too. I might act up. I'm going to act up and get 10 of each. Because we get three, uh... Oh, never mind. I, I cannot aff I cannot afford it. <laughs> oh, wait. I can. Wait, what the fuck? The game was, like, glitching out there for a second. I thought... I have hella money. I have $7,000. You crazy? Alright, we're getting 10, of 10 heal balls as well. And... We are all balled up, boys. Very nice. It's nice not really having to buy potions. I mean, it's nice to have them outside of battle, but I can't use them in battle anyway. Uh, anyway... We got this house here. We might as well explore. Do some exploring. You can have 20 stickers on a ball. Does that mean you could have uh, switch to balling real quick? Yes. Some kinds of Pokemon appear only if they're attracted by the sweet scent of honey. Cool. What y'all watching on TV? It looks kind of cool. Pokemon must have an acute sense of smell. They can sense the aroma of honey from very far away. Well, that's a useless house. The last time I ever go into one of these houses. Anyway, let's continue over this way. Where we have Route 205, um, we've got some beautiful looking berries. I do like how the berry trees look in this. Two Chesto berries, nice. Get some boys to wake up with those. Basically caffeine berries. And some soft, earthy soil. Uh, we'll grab these Pecha berries as well. And so we do get a new encounter over here, which is fun. We have the Valley Windworks, which I think is an encounter of its own. Uh, homegirl's like, hey, my dad's been kidnapped. He works at Valley Windworks. The people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. <laughs> Don't worry, little girl. I'm here to help. Um, so, actually, I don't think I can go north. These guys, are, these guys are just blocking everywhere. Conducting research. You can research these nuts. So they're not going to let us. But we got to go to... Uh, hey, wait! It's, it is Friday! It's currently Friday. So there better be a damn balloon here. But wait. What? Just kidding. I literally... I'm an idiot. Um, 
Have they changed the encounter rate on the honey trees? I don't know. Munch, that's like the only way you can get Munchlax, right? I honestly thought that I couldn't go this way. I was like, wait, there's trees blocking the way. But no, there's just the path right here. <laughs> so here we have Valley Windworks. Now we can get a new encounter here, which is fun. And I don't see... Where the hell is my drift loon? My drift loon? Where's Drifloon? Hello? Oh, it only shows up after I beat Team Galactic here. Oh. Alright. Encounter in Valley Windworks. Give me Shellos, please. Please. Pachirisu. Okay, so... That's not the squirrel that I wanted, but alright. So, level 7 Pachirisu is gonna be our fella. And... Ain't nobody give a heck about but we catch it so that's kind of cool <laughs> this thing can take draco meter shout out to the one pachirisu uh that someone used in vgc you know, a long time ago that was actually pretty nice basically just came in and nuzzled everybody levels for freaking everybody you love to see it we do definitely need some levels because we have a boss battle coming up but i think we're good anyway let's teach uh what oh wait hold on nobody panic shinx is evolving Amazing. These levels are creeping up on me, man. I didn't even realize. About to have a Luxio, which is sweet. Look at this little teenager. He's angry now. The, the teenage angst is real. Uh, Lucky Charms. He's still getting a little more lucky. He says, I am the electric type on this team, damn it. Its claws lose, its claws lose electricity with enough amperage. Wait, its claws lose. It seems like it should say lose, right? To cause opponents to faint. Lose in small groups. Okay. Alright, so Pachirisu added to the Pokedex, and I accidentally just missed that. Alright, well, I'll give you a nickname. What cereal shall Pachirisu be nicknamed after is the question, boys. Alright, we're gonna name this thing Trix. Shout out to Chan uh, for the nickname recommendation. Trix are for kids. Uh, we're just gonna send that to a box. Maybe we'll end up having to use the squirrel later. I don't know. I bet you my second encounter will be the Shellos that I wanted. Nope. Alright, so what are you doing here? Hello? Don't you dare go into Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes you think you're gonna try to get in. Oh, I'm gonna try. I know you've got a guy hostage in there. I spoke to this little girl back there, and now it's my duty to help out. Um, Galactic Grunt has one Pokemon. Oh, that can be a little bit of a scary mod. I don't have Starly at too high of a level, but we should be okay. <laughs> Level, I'm only level 11 Glammy, but we're actually, we're actually good. I definitely, see, what sucks about the EXP share is that when I want to bring a Pokemon back that's been in the box that's like down by like five levels, growing this thing then grinds the rest of the team up too high. And so switching Pokemon is actually kind of annoying. I don't know if anybody else has had that problem, but like now that I want to use Starly, I can't really grind it unless I deposit everybody else, grind it up by itself, and then withdraw everybody else. You know, like I don't want to get over leveled on everybody else, so like, they don't need any levels. I wish I could just toggle the EXP share on and off. How hard would it be to just program a button in for me to say, yes, I want this? You know? I don't really understand. There's a lot of choices in this game that are like, why don't you just allow me to do what I want? I don't know. Is it because they don't want children to accidentally turn it off and then get frustrated and then play again? Anyway, old bull cut gets bodied. Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. <laughs> Can't do a thing if I lock myself in with the works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. What? My cohorts in the flower patch are the only other one. I mean, in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. <laughs> you dick. Alright, so Kerchunk, and we can't go in there. So now we gotta go to the freaking other dudes, beat them up, take their honey or something. I, I don't remember. There's some honey involved over there, so that's what we're doing. Jekod, thank you very much for the 11 months, my friend. That's truly almost a year, and I greatly appreciate you, my friend. Anyway, these guys are no longer here anymore, so we're just going to head on in. And uh, I think they're just harassing some dude for his honey over here. Yep. This poor guy, he's just living in his meadow, and then all of a sudden some blue-haired guys come and take his honey. Uh, <laughs> enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. Must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hmm. Yes, that sounds like a great plan. This kid's a witness. What do we do? Well, we can't have that brat running off to get help. I don't need no help. Come at me. Right here, right now. Alright, so... Two Pokemon. They've got... Uh, a Wurmple. 
And, uh... Yeah, honestly, okay, I didn't realize until now that it's just a single battle. <laughs> this is perfect, perfect for old Captain Crunch, getting the experience he needs. Alright, just out going to Wurmple's, doing what he does, just as is the way of the food chain. See you later, Wurmple. Next is a Silcoon. Okay, so he at least evolved one of them. Silcoon looks extra round in this. My guy is looking very bulbous, per se. Killer oh, Silcoon. Not the butt face Pokemon. <laughs> the Wurmple with the butt face. Alright, Captain Crunch to 14. Nice. Alright, so I guess the EXP chair is kind of working in our favor a little bit here. So he's not giving the bench Pokemon as much, so it's actually it's evening out a little bit. Anyway, it's time for Captain Crunch to evolve into Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries. Amazing. Staravia is, uh... I really, li I really like it. It might be one of my favorite, like, Route 1 bird Pokemon. The Starly line. Especially Star after when he gets his sick Mohawk. Nice. Now he extra flappy. Let's take a look at that there Pokedex. They fly around forests and fields in search of bug Pokemon, moving together in huge flocks. Huge flocks. This is so lame. They're gonna dock my pay. I'm up next. Battling you right after my cohort was weakened. Has weakened you. Gives me the edge. Listen, he had a worm and a cocoon, so I'm not very weakened. I'm actually much stronger now because I evolved. Freaking loser. He's got uh, a Zuzat. Okay, okay. I think the party Pokemon get one third the EXP of one in battle. So that's pretty good. I think that actually that's actually kind of nice. All right, so now Staravia is intimidating, which is great. We are going to uh, have a little flap off. There's so much flapping going on this screen, my god. It actually does live it though. Uh, it's a supersonic. Really? That's annoying. The Talonflame line, line is pretty dope though too. This shit's nuts dude, I remember watching this guy's... This shit's nuts dude, I remember watching this guy's videos in middle school. I called Soul Super Wi-Fi Battles and now I'm watching at work in the middle school. In middle school and now I'm 22 watching at work. That's actually crazy. You're in middle school? How long ago was HeartGold Soul Silver? God damn. <sighs> Supple nips. <laughs> I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you very much for the first time chat. I do appreciate you. Alright. Snapped out of the confusion. That's the type of type of effort we like to see from you, Staravia. Put that put that Zubat in its place. You're the superior Flappy McFlapperson. I love their little they're standing there normally, they're like. Brat's tough, like really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words. I know a lot of words. We're done for now, let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Okay, so now we can go back to Valley Windworks. They do give us some honey. Uh, we can slather up some honey. What's this thing? They seem to have forgotten this. It's a works key, must be for Valley Windworks. Uh, if it's no use for me, you may as well have it. So, we get the works key, very nice. Thank you, thank you. You surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. Why do you guys say it like that? Who says that? Those guys were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. You could have just said honey, bro. I don't even know how doubly sweet your honey is. He does give us a jar, though, so he's at least a kind guy. And, uh, we'll take it. If you slap that honey on a sweet-smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. It might. Um, th look at how do This is actually... kind of crazy. I would love to, uh... I would love to just roll around in it. Uh, roll around in these flowers. I'm still upset there's no freaking Drifling. It's Friday and everything. We'll use the works key. Cure chunk that bad boy open. And, uh... Let's get it. Oh, damn, he's just waiting right here. Locking the door was meaningless. I'm the loser in this after all. There's no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Commander Mars is going to be our big upcoming fight here. I think there's a couple grunts before. Um, so let's take a look who we got in front here. We've got uh, Captain Crunch actually needs a heal. Oops, I should probably go and do that, but... All right, time to whip some ass. These floors are looking as polished as the rest of the region. I ain't fooling around, kid. This is how a professional does it. He's gonna say that, and he's gonna have a Wurmple. Watch. I guarantee it. He's like, yeah, we professionals. Now, maybe it's a Silcoon or some Cascoon? Cascoon. Calls it. You know, three tries later, but... <laughs> Sick. This guy's a professional. His Cocoon is, uh... apparently pretty good. Hello from Sweden. Hello, my Swedish friend. I wanna... Can I come visit... Can I stay with you? I want to go to Sweden. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. I found a level 68 Graveler back in the OG. Blue trying to evolve at Sack of Rocks. Oh, you did have one? 
Don't these things normally have spikes? I, I, I feel like they didn't used to look so round, but I guess, yeah. Dan Rich with the two months. Thank you very much for the tier one sub, my friend. Dan, I appreciate you. All right, so they gave that guy the business. Um, and now, I think we're actually pretty much pretty much there. We can battle that person, but I'm not even gonna. Let's just, so you can tell they're a boss because their hair is different. Oh my God, <laughs> look at the Jimmy model. <laughs> Why are you a baby doll? You're so not threatening when you look like this. People have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle and decide which we should do next. If I win, you leave. Yeah, you win. We Team Galactic believe. Okay. I forget why they're even here, to be honest, but now she looks normal. Now she's extra tall. All right, so <laughs> Commander Mars has two Pokemon. I just remember the Prugly. Uh, leads with a Zubat, though, so, okay. Not too shabby here. We lead off with some Cat and Crunch. The roof of your mouth is about to get destroyed, Zubat. I might even actually just switched immediately into Young Lucky Charms. Whoa. I lose my cursor there for a second. Yeah, we're going to Lucky Charms here. Zubat is going to be so incredibly intimidated. You're not even going to know, not even going to know what the hell's going on. Uh, this is actually the first time even using Lexio, my little teenage fella. Oh, predicted it. Went for the U-turn. Holy shit. Okay. That was a play. That was a play. I like your style. That thing definitely did not have U-turn before, did it? Level 16 Perugly comes in. Uh, that's not ideal. This thing's actually gonna hit pretty damn hard. I might even... Hmm. I might even switch into Staravia, get an Intimidate, and then I can go into Wheeze and get some fighting moves on it. I probably should have got my team to like 16. But, uh... Let's go into Captain Crunch. This thing, yeah, definitely uses Fake Out, so we're gonna not want to take that. And Fat Cat is actually... This thing hits pretty damn hard. Also, it's very fast. For some reason, Perugly is extremely fast. It's like... Has higher base speed than like a damn Latios. Oh, just goes for a thief instead. Hey, don't you be thiefing me, okay? Um, we can probably take one attack here. I'm gonna go for a wing attack just to get some damage off on this thing. It is faster in growl speed. That's um, okay. That's fine. Prugly does look extra fat in this, by the way. I mean, we haven't even seen many purlins. All right. She says, "Dare you wing attack, my freaking kitty?" Uh, now I'm gonna switch into Machop. I don't know. Is this thing Body Slam or something? I'm kind of afraid here. I, I should have should have prepared a little tiny bit more, but I think we're probably okay. Just goes for a thief. That's actually great that the thief on Machop here. Because now uh, I think Revenge is probably my highest damage output here, as they're definitely gonna hit me here. So let's see. It does okay? I'm just getting scratch. Oh god, that's fine. Critical hit. Knocks me to nearly half. We do go for the revenge. The chop is pissed off, and Brugly dies. So, didn't even, didn't even need to match your levels. The chop said, I don't give a heck. I mean, levels for everybody. I know. Knockoff? Nice. Knockoff is actually good this time around, as it's 65 base power. Uh, this Machop is becoming quite the threat. I will need to trade this thing eventually to get it to evolve, but it's a problem for later. No more Leer for you. Guy cannot see anymore. Reese's Puff to 16. Very nice. Wants to learn Rock Throw. We're just learning all sorts of stuff. See, I definitely should have gotten a level before this, but as it turns out, it's actually not an issue. We'll get rid of Sandstorm. Yeah, no need for Sandstorm, really. Alright, there you go. Lucky Charms, are you going to learn something too? Nope. Okay. Damn, really, everybody leveling at the same freaking time. Except for Pebbles. Poor Pebbles over there. He was close. Alright, so next we know, obviously, it's just that Zubat. Um, so, we will switch probably just right back, some, back into Luxio. Or, you know what? Screw it. We're using Reese's Puff. It's time to throw ourselves at the Zero Zubat, boys. Probably has base 112 speed compared to Latios, and Latios is powerful, pitiful, 110 speed. Why is Probably so fast? It's so is strange. Same with, like, Miltank is a very fast... Pokemon. Like, they make the fat ones surprisingly fast. You know. You're about to experience the full taste of this peanut butter chocolate flavor, except I'm confused, so maybe not. Nope, you are. All right. Boom, Zubat goes down, and Commander Mars has been defeated. So, all in the same section of the game, we get introduced to these people, we beat their boss, and just like that, we've solved the whole problem. What if they're like, alright, we'll go away now, we just never see them again. 
Commander Mars, get hacked. <laughs> she does the thing too. She looks there, she's like... It can't be, I lost, you annoying brat. Uh, you get some nice monies from you, thank you Mars. Appreciate you. I messed that one up, that's alright though, I quite enjoyed our battle. It's funny that they, they have Absorb, but it still doesn't really matter anyway. Because Absorb is such a low power move. Guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. See ya! Alright, so this is, uh, this is our friend here, Team Galactic. They were saying that they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. So we're creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. He's like, I'm just a simple windmill operator here. <laughs> and finally see my little daughter again. He's like, it's been like 15 minutes. You wouldn't believe it. Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Why is he stinky? Had me working non-stop. Oh. Okay, guy smells. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Hell yes! Okay, so it's Friday. Will the balloon Pokemon be there or not? We've heard that it will not be there, but it would be great if it was here. Balloon? Balloon? He's not here. I am upset. Why would they do that to me? <sighs> if you'd be a cereal brand, what would your name be and what kind of cereal would you be? Man, that's, that's a tough question. I don't know. Careful though, I lost Graveler to Beautifly because they had Mega Train. Oh, shit. Alright, so we're pretty much done with the whole flower area, and now we've got some stuff going on over this way, which, uh, this is a new route. Route 205 is where we can catch something new, so that's pretty cool. You slather honey on a sweet-smelling tree, Pokemon may be attracted. Listen, I knew, I know, I know. I'm gonna do it. Slather the bark with honey. Absolutely. freaking lootly Bark was slathered with honey. Cool. So we put some honey on there. We'll come back for that later and see if we got a Munchlax or something. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but we will have an encounter coming up over here, but this camper looks like he's looking for some trouble. What's up, buddy? How about a quick battle before I leave for a turn of forest? You're on. Imagine wanting your Pokemon dead before you go into the forest. You buffoon. Alright, ooh, he's got a Ponyta! This guy found one of the only freaking fire types in, like, the whole game. Nice. I think, I, I'm pretty sure, like, Ponyta, Rapidash, and there's, like, Magby or Magmar, and that's, like, it, other than Chimchar. There's, there might be like one more. I did get the new Jirachi, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just gonna. Oh, Houndoom, yes. Houndoom does exist as well. I'm just gonna stay in here and wing attack this here pony. I don't see anything too bad happening. I'm probably gonna be okay. I do like Ponyta, though. Ponyta and Rapidash is another Pokemon that has never really been great, but it's just cool, so we like it. Anyway, down goes Ponyta. Mr. Lad, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Lucky Charm to 17, Wheaties to 17. Nice. Alright. Pony Talk Camper Guy. Defeated. See you later. Alright, we can get a new encounter here, boys. We are ready for it. Please be something. Uh, maybe another shot. Sean is at a, cell a Shellos here. Shellos? Here we go, Shellos. First encounter is if just, just a Weasel. Okay. So. That's actually fine. I like Weasel. Poor guy looks like he's getting strangled all the time by his little floaty, but that's okay. Um, love to see it. Let's just... Okay, level, level 10. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna hug a Pokeball at you. Why not? I should've... Whatever. We're just gonna use the regular Pokeballs. So why not? Just throwing Pokeballs initially has really worked out for me so far. Okay. As I say that, it didn't work that time. Nice. Does he have arms? He most certainly has arms. Look at him arms! Got his little nubs. Mm -hmm. That's why Mercury took like 30 balls. Yeah. I've heard that the underground Pokemon can be a pain in the ass. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to weaken this feller. I do like his little tails. You think I could quick attack this thing? It's level 10. Yeah, probably. Time to give you a quick attack. How do you like that, Weasel? It's midnight here in Sweden and you're just starting your day. That's crazy to think about. Nah, not just starting. I mean, it's 3.30 p.m. Those aren't arms, they're pool noodles. <laughs> it could be. Alright! Weasel has been caught. A solid water type option. Um, might actually end up tossing this on the team for now. I'm, I might have to get rid of Raisin Bran, dude. And Raisin Bran's never gonna get used. Birdwatcher, thank you very much for the tier 1 sub, 5 months, I appreciate you my friend. You see any sweet birds lately? <laughs> um, when it's air fills, 
when, when air fills the flotation sack on its neck, the sack balloons like an inner tube. This Pokemon floats with its head out of the water. I really wish they wouldn't call it a sack. We could do uh, kicks. I kind of like I kind of like kicks. I like kicks for uh, I don't like kicks the cereal, but I like the name for Buizel. So there you go. Um, we will add this to our party. Let's get rid of freaking Cricketune. Um, I will come back for you, my sweet sweet Cricketune, and your awesome mustache. But for now. <laughs> We're gonna have to bring this little weasel because yes. So let's actually take a look at this little guy. Maybe we got a good nature on kicks. Who knows? I should have used my, one of my heal bombs, but brave nature. So we get a plus attack minus speed. Not ideal. Um, so um, we got this here. Hiker guy. Maybe you have a geo dude that I can just douse in some water and murder. That would be ideal. Damn hiker Daniel. And some tight pants he got on there, bro. So he does have a geo dude. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if, uh, do I even have, what moves does this freaking thing even come with in your flotation sack? Wow, look at this. Okay, I don't have a water move. Machop goes down to a swift kick to the nuts. And, uh, do you have anything else? Was that a Machop? Hey, Spider-Man meme. Yeah. All right. And he's got another Geodude. Wow. Surely an original hiker team you've got here, guy. I realize that my camera covers the people in the background every time, but you just gotta have to do that. Pretend like that's I'm the hiker. My reason popped to 17. Maybe I need to go get some new mods. <laughs> my god, this guy has so many Pokemon. I didn't realize how many mods this guy had. Good lord. What is Machop's skin like? Rough? Smooth? Furry? <laughs> um, I like to imagine that he's like scaly, kind of. I don't think he's furry. That is actually a good question. Of all places possible, I've lost my way here. Listen, it, you're like 10 feet from the city. How, how's that possible? Diglett is furry? He is a furry. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so Nicholas here's got an onyx. Boy, would it be nice if my water weasel had some water. Huh? This guy is drying out over here with all his normal freaking moves. And he dead. Poor little Onyx. I do really enjoy this battle environment, so I won't get over it. Captain Crunch to level 17, very good. Nicholas, get hecked. I do like the beard's on point though, my guy. Beard is on point. Let's see. What do I need to should I get like Everybody's 17 except for Buizel. I think as long as we leave Buizel in front, maybe I need to get. I don't know. Another camper over this way. Do you battle me? I don't know. We're gonna grab these here berries because we can. Two Petra berries. I actually need to put the other. I had like orange berries to put on my Pokemon. I don't know if it's really even worth it. Got some more orange there. I might as well do it if I ever. If I ever really need that 10 HP at a piv pivotal moment, I guess it'd be nice to have. But I doubt it. Orange berry. Give one to Weasel. I'm just gonna give one to freaking everybody. How about that? Give one to Reese's. Orange berries for everybody, it's Oprah up in this bitch. You get an orange berry. And you get an orange berry. Can't wait for your Mercer. I've got the burgundy hoodie. The burgundy is extremely fresh. I commend your choice. Shout out to the burgundy hoodie. Oh, I just gave this thing a cher cherry berry on accident. But guess what, Captain Crunch, you're just gonna enjoy that. Ran out of orange berries, it's fine. Over here we've got a Pokeball. Look at the water. I can't get, I really like the water in this game. The flow of it, like the rivers, it's beautiful. We cannot continue any further though, unfortunately, so we will go over this way. Oh god, lady almost caught me. Almost got caught slipping. What is over here? There's gotta be a hidden item. Yep, have got an antidote there, nice. I'm just bad. All right, uh, this guy, I don't, are you, do you battle me? I don't know. Many poison type Pokemon make a turn of forest their home, but I don't buy any antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on or go back? You should definitely just press on. It's not too big of a deal. Anyway, here we are in a turn of forest, and it's looking like my glasses are smudged, but okay. What up, green-haired lass? Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? Your name's Hayden. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. May I ask you a big favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid I'm doing it alone. I've heard that there's a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there's uh, safety. I think there'll be safety in numbers. May I please go with you? Sure. Sure, Cheryl. We'll go with you. Um, one good thing about Cheryl is we get double wild encounters. So, double chance for shinies, boys. If I get a shiny in this forest, that would be insane. Girl really made green her entire life. For real, homegirl blends, she's going full camouflage up in here. 
Um, we could do a prediction for our first encounter in this place. Now, this encounter is a little bit weird because we kind of get to choose whichever of the two we find. Um, and I think she uses a Chansey. So what we're going to do, just to be an absolute dick, is put Machop in front and kill her Chansey immediately so they don't care what... Um... Okay, here, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to catch the Pokemon that is on the right. Just so I don't have any choice in the matter, all right? The, the Pokemon that is on the right is going to be... Oh, damn, the music actually... Did get intense there for a sec. Uh, here we go. It's... <laughs> They're both Wurmples. All right. So that decides it for us, huh? Does Wurmple have arms? I don't think so. You pretty much just get lucky. I would prefer to get Dust Ox, just because all my homies love Dust Ox. But I don't really care either way. Uh, but not a bad bug type. We do catch the Wurmple. He's not shiny, so he's not purple, but he Wurmple, so... Seems kind of fitting for the little guy. Especially once he evolves, he's basically just going to be one big corn pop. So... <laughs> Alright, let's just send it to a box for now. Ooh, got a Petcha Berry. Nice. I will be stealing that berry from you, sir. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Um, so we've got our encounter in here, and now it's basically up to us to just do some exploring. My Pokemon got poisoned, now it can't battle. I knew I should have loaded up on antidotes at the Pokemon. You gotta get yourself a Cheryl. Just straight up heal me up every time. Can't relate, broke boy. There's an antidote right there, guy. You want it or not? Anyway, um, over here we have the Moss Rock. This is where you can bring your Eevee if you want a, a, a Leafeon. Rock is covered in moss. It feels pleasantly cool. Hmm. Nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue. Let's actually see what else there is in the grass because I feel like I got pretty unlucky having two freaking Wurmples. All right, never mind. It's basically the same thing. Oh, so he does get spiky for a second. Have I not seen that before? He just has the spikes come out whenever he feels like it. But it's gonna run. we don't really want the experience. It's probably not. We don't need to really grind up too much. Bum, 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 bum. Who's going to be Life Cereal? <laughs> oh, there's a Baneary and a Badu. This would have been a great duo to find. Could have had the low punny. We're just out on a power walk. You, you were not walking. You guys were just literally standing here, but... Okay. If you say so. Last Brianna. I almost said Brassliana. Uh, Patrisu and a Wurmple. Pog combo. But I have an egg. Uh, Pachirisu, so I'm level freaking 18 here. Dun, 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 dun. Pokemon are questionable gameplay mechanics, name a more iconic duo, for real. Fucking for real. Maybe, like, it, there's just no reason to include the 20 minute time, like, why? You know? Why'd they do that to us? Bam, 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 bam. Or the dust like I would use poison sting to attack an easy uh, until it evolved and use tackle if I want a beautiful. I always work for when I did those things. Yeah, it's not real, but that's actually pretty cool though. Oh, watch you play it instead. It's always an option. Chancey kissed a worm. Well, what the hell was that? I, I didn't even look at what that move was. Kicking some squirrels, doing what Machop does best. You know how we be. Yeah, we are. We're leveling up out here. I should probably put kicks in front, but it's going to make these battles a little more difficult, but the chop definitely doesn't need the levels, so. Ouch, worm. I love how the bug catchers use nets, as if Pokeballs don't exist, right? What are you catching with nets for? What, what year do you think it is? We have technology, bug catcher. Also, gotta love the chance of just healing itself. That's, that's nice. What did I even just use on this thing? Did I... So it didn't heal. It healed both of us. That's actually nice. And it kills it anyway. Stepping on the bug. Stepping on the bug. Wurmple is dead. Lucky Charms to 18. All right, so the team's the team's looking good. Ooh, trying to learn Spark. Nice. It's disarming voice. Yes. All right, Spark is pretty nice. We got a nice little 65 base power as opposed to our 40. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of Tackle. No reason to use Tackle. And now we have a physical electric option, so that's pretty good. There you go, Lucky Charms. Oh, it's still got a beautiful eye left. Oh, jeez. 
Alright, only level 13. This is actually not a bad place for me to grind up kicks here, so let's actually push this guy. How are you going to fit pincer in that net? For real. Yeah, what happens if the bug is a freaking pincer and you, you can literally only catch Wurples in that net? Maybe that's why they only have Wurples and things like Wurple balls into. Okay, Cornfuse, where's Ballin? For real, though. A question, is Jigglypuff Kirby or is Kirby dressed up as Jigglypuff? I think that they're both Jigglypuff. Kirby's an imposter. Uh, tackle. When the hell do I learn Water Gun or something? Good God. Samantha is free! Yay! Hello, Sammy. It's Friday, too. Hell yeah. Turn up. And the fully evolved bugs are like three to five feet. True. What's the best bug Pokemon and why is it probably Scizor? Oh, ouch. You know, god damn it. It's not working out. Going into Captain Crunch. I can't believe you're leaving me. I am going to go snowboarding. Tonight, snowboard tomorrow. Hog champ. Volcarona is probably one of the better bug types, true. Someone said it learns water move at level 15. Nice. It freaking should. They're making Buizel damn near useless out here. Anyway, finally, get bodied. Glasses get so upset. Him too, I guess. Alright. That was a long ass, but hey, look at these here cut trees. Looks like he can be cut down with a hidden move. Where's the Bidoof coming out of the bush to do that for me? I shall grab this here Paralyzed Heal. Only ever snowboarded with a shitty little $5 snowboard from a garage sale? Oh my god. Alright, so we got a couple of blurry fellas right here, and now they're in focus. Why is this forest so blurry? When a trainer and a Pokemon bond is one, a wondrous power is born. You don't say. You, you don't, you know, listen. I'm gonna need you to back the hell up here. Six feet. Get all up in my face like that, psychic guy. Come on now. God. Alright, psychic Elijah and someone else who I didn't get to say. Okay, Lindsay. Nice. Couple of Abras here. And, uh,. I love Abra. Abra would have been great as one of my encounters. Um, level 15s. Kicks should probably not be in here. I am going to go into Captain Crunch. Why not? Just to ensure that I can intimidate these special attackers for sure. Hey, JD. Thank you, buddy. Hey, this merch for real JD Soko. Golfy? Comfy? It is. It is very... It is... Some high quality shit. Shout out to the merch. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's the energy balls. So yeah, if I would have left. Damn, that even does a lot. Resist it. Dude, these Abras are OP. So they double they do double double energy ball. Gets me to like half. Good god. Dancing with the disarming voice. Yeah, I gotta make sure we disarm these here Abras. Uh, luckily wing attacks should just kill, but. That would have been pretty bad if I stayed in with Weasel there. Poor little guy would have. Died before he got his water move. I would have been so upset. Uh, but Abra, Abra number one is dead. More energy balls. Seems interesting that you choose to go for energy ball again. Uh, this is voice. All right. At least you're doing something here, Chansey. I, I dig it. One more ring attack for the kill. And uh, I, I don't remember these people having two Abras in this place before. But, I mean, I'm sure they did. Love to see it. Kicks 15. There you go, buddy. Water gun. Thank God. What if I accidentally didn't teach it? I would have been so upset. Let's get rid of tail whip. Even though I do like your tail whip animation, you, now you can just shoot water out of your ass instead. There you go, pal. Nice. <laughs> I, lo I love the reactions. <laughs> it's so funny. The timing is something that fucks me. Alright. Nice. A couple more bug catches here. Hello? You know, Cheryl, I can see why you needed the help getting through here. This is actually a pretty long forest. It's pretty long. I'll give it to you. Donald and Philip. Damn, these guys are stacked with mines. Burmy and a Wormpool. Hey, that's our first Burmy we've seen. I love how Burmy just floats. They're like, yeah, this is a Pokemon who is essentially always supposed to be attached to a tree. So when he's in battle, you can't even see the poor guy. Uh, he just has to float there, so. You can't see me anymore. Um, we're going to... Well, a gun on you. Why not? Look at that little Burmy just hanging. Just hanging. But since these guys only have... Or they have a lot of Pokemon, they're going to be all low level. So that's 
had some good experience for our, our good pal Buizel here. NPCs trainer animations are looking one of my favorite things about the game. There's a lot of good things about this game. Alright, there's a Dust Tox. Okay, level 13. Definitely gonna target this year Dust. The first Dust Tox that we've seen. Shout out to Molly the Moth. Only the OGs remember her. How many more Pokemon are there? Good God. Hey! Chansey killed something! Round of applause for Chansey, everybody. Thank you very much for the help, Chance. Philip, get hacked. Whew. <laughs> Thanks for the money, nerds. Alright. Um... So over this way is some more trainers. You guessed it. Can I like avoid those ones? I don't want. I don't want any more trainers. I think I'm actually pretty much out of here. Are the different shellos forms in the different games, or is there just different areas where you find the different ones? Actually, that makes, never mind. That's a dumb question. Nope, I'm not out of it. I thought the I thought the exit was like right there. Wait, we're here. Hold on though. There's a pokeball right here. We'll be taking that jar of honey. Nice. Somebody just left their jar of honey inside of a pokeball in the freaking forest. Um, so here we have. The spooky house, but we can't get in there because we don't have freaking cuts. But we're just going to head over this way, and she's going to be like, Wow, thank you for all the help. I'm so relieved we finally got here. Never be able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Hayden. Hey, no problem, lady. That's what I'm here for. Just a helpful guy. And uh, let's head over this way to Route 205. This route looks nice. Oh, this is the same route, isn't it? False alarm? It's still just 205. Literally, the sign's right here. I believe Same route as before the forest, which... Shouldn't be the case, damn it. If I go into a forest and come all the way out of it, I'm in a whole different place, okay? Give me the encounter. I refuse to believe that it's the same route. It is, though. But we'll take these alarm berries while we can. How are you going to handle underground encounter? Just pick your first encounter by walking into the one? I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I won't even get an underground encounter. I don't know what we're going to do with it for that one. All right, so let's battle these here fishermen on the old bridge, shall we? Let's start with you. The guy that's got the six... Oh, wait. Never mind, I got us a battle list. Um, and well, I guess we'll just leave Weasel in front. Shouldn't be too difficult. Can't use our new and improved freaking water moves, but... Let's see what these fishermen have to say. We haven't battled any fishermen yet. Look, he's sitting on his cooler. Joseph is just living the dream out here with his gold bean. Very nice. Just swimming in the air. Technically connected by that little side path. Yeah, true. All right, level 14, Goldeen. Let's just try to tackle you, I guess. Weasel needs the experience. I think six magic carps, yes. That guy was actually really clutch for EV training. Uh, if you wanted EV training for speed, he was the guy to come to because you could just use your, uh, your whatever the thing that allowed you to catch your battle multiple times. Oh shit, he's trying to... What are you doing with that rod, bro? What are you doing, Step Fisherman? <laughs> uh, okay, it's level 10 magic card. It's going to be just splish splashing over there. Damn, did Sunshine and Chan just say the same thing? <laughs> you guys are one. How did Fuck Yeah Sea King come about? I didn't come up with that meme. It was like, it was just a meme on the internet before I took it on as my own. I don't really know. I always just saw people say it, and there was always just fuck yes seeking memes. I don't know who came up with that or what, but I don't <laughs> I have no idea of the backstory. If anybody knows the backstory behind fuck yes seeking, I would love to hear it because I have absolutely no idea. The photoshopping phenomenon began in a thread post by 4chan's B random board on April 22nd, 2007. The first post included a picture of seeking ramming into the side of the Titanic, presumably causing it to sink. Uh, a passenger in the lifeboat is captioned with Fuck Yeah Sea King cheering on the oversized monster. Man, the internet truly is a gift. I'll tell you what. Very interesting. Carp be splashing. And that was your today's episode of Meme History with your boy. Just a uh, weird one. Okay, Carp dead. 2007 truly was the good old days. I was just getting ready to start my YouTube channel in 2007. I was like, not yet, but soon. Essentially, we get here to Eterna City, and it's a beautiful day here in Eterna. There's a whole lot for us to do here, which is fun. But, I believe, look at this guy, th this man's glasses here on the left are as big as his face. Hold up, I have to talk to this guy. What? Hey, don't you run from me. Team Galactic took my Pokebot away, they took other people's too. 
Something should be done, but Team Galactic creeps everyone out. They took my- they kicked my books off the ground and called me a nerd and took my lunch money. <laughs> Poor fella. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So... We're gonna conclude... Here in Eterna City. We're gonna let- you know, just in enjoy the- The clouds passing by. There's a bunch for us to do here. We get to do the underground and stuff. Um, I'm excited to check out Eterna. This is gonna be... It's gonna be a swell time. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Peace out.